Hi everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today we're talking about the area of triangles. So area of triangles, the formula for that is really straightforward. It's only three little components. It's area equals one half times the base times the height. Now before any of you or some of you out there are going, that's not what my math book says. What's going on? Yeah, some math books out there will present this as area equals base times height divided by two. It's the same thing. It's just some present it one way, some present it the other way. Same thing. The more, more important question we want to be asking is, what are these two parts, the base and height of a triangle? How do we find them? Well, when we're doing this, a square is going to be your best friend in these. By which I mean, if I'm given a triangle and they're asking me for the area, somewhere in here, there's going to be a little dotted line coming down and then a square at the bottom. That tells me that this is a right angle, that this line is forming a right angle with this line, this side of the triangle. That's what you're looking for. That line, whether it is a part of the triangle, we'll see an example in a minute where it is a part of the triangle. In a lot of cases, it's just going to be kind of dotted like this, like an imaginary line that's not technically a part of the triangle, but we're looking for that right angle. So the line there that's forming the right angle, that's going to be our height. The line, the side of the triangle that it's connecting to, that is our base. So those are our two parts, our base and our height. And I'm going to show you a couple different examples, show you where this height can show up and why it can be a little confusing sometimes. So that one, I'm going to do a, a similar one over here on the side, just so we don't forget it. It's the most common one where you have a dotted line and you have that little, um, the little right angle symbol. You also may see a triangle that's like this and you get like that. There's no dotted line. What's the height? Again, this little right angle symbol is our friend. So this line coming down here is going to be our height. And this line, the side where it's coming down to meet that side over there is our base. The third and most sort of unusual version, because these both are like, yeah, I got that. I got that. That's not hard. That's good. We want to make this so it's not hard. But this last one, this can kind of trip students up, is when you have something like this. And then they go, like that. You know, uh, it's not even in the triangle. Uh, wouldn't this be like the height going this way? You know, wouldn't that be the height? Like, how can you have a height when it's outside the triangle? I know it looks weird, but it's still the height. You want that right angle and it's telling you that this line coming down, that's the height. Now here's the catch. I know it's not touching this side of the triangle, but if I extended it out, that's the side it would touch. So this over here is going to be your base. So that's your height and that's your base. This little bit from here to here is your base. So let's put some real numbers in that real quickly, just to give you some samples. So let's say I have this triangle and I'm given my little dotted line coming down and my oh so important right angle square indicator. And I am told that this length of this side is this imaginary line, I should say is five centimeters. And this side is 10 centimeters. Sometimes, not always, they'll give you these measurements too for those two sides. They're unimportant. <laughs> they don't matter if you are given the height and the base. Once you have those two numbers, all other numbers are unnecessary. So here, my base, this bit down here is going to be 10. Because remember, it's one half base times height. So one half times 10 and my height is five. So one half times 10 times five, one half times five is five. Five times five is 25. And we always finish area with our units squared. So 25 centimeters, it's not getting, there we go. 25 centimeters squared. And that's my final answer. And again, as you can see, 
The other version, which some books use, area equals base times height divided by two would get me the same answer. My base is 10, my height is five. 10 times five is 50 divided by two. Again, we're at 25 centimeters squared. So we have this more little oddball kind of looking setup. And we're told that this imaginary line over here is let's say 10 inches. And they tell you that this side of this triangle over here is 20 inches. I'm not drawing to scale. Then same sort of thing. We have our little, we have our right angle indicator. So that means this line, even though it's outside the triangle is the height. So area equals one half times base times height. Here, my base is 20 because it's the line that if I extended it would touch that right angle line. So one half times 20 times the height here being 10. One half times 20 is 10, 10 times 10 is 100. And our units are, <laughs> keeps auto correcting there, inches squared. We always wanna make sure we have that square. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.